Then we have Breaking Bridget. <laughs> the Dominion lawsuit against Fox resulted in text messages being disclosed surrounding the election fraud claims. Basically, none of the Fox hosts thought that the election was stolen and they thought the claims were, quote, mind-blowingly nuts. And this is where I get frustrated because if you think that Fox isn't part of the mainstream media, I would like to sell you a bridge, sir. (laughs) I don't understand. When I say mainstream media, I always lump Fox in with CNN and MSNBC. I know not everybody does this, but Fox is a massive network. It is very mainstream. And just like all of these networks, the people, pundits in particular, who are on them are Don Lemon, Tucker Carlson. They're narcissistic idiots who will say anything because all they really crave and want is that parasocial relationship with their audience and ratings to be high. There was a clip of CNN talking about the Dominion lawsuit and they're like, oh my God, Look at the propaganda over there at Fox. You're all propagandists. At this point, you're all just faking being news organizations. None of you are serious. None of you are anything but a propaganda wing for a party in this country. Whether you are a propaganda wing for the right or the left just depends on what network you're watching and what you want to believe about America. But this, this lawsuit is interesting and good for Dominion for actually taking this on. Because what they're forcing Fox to do is admit that these people consider themselves journalists because unlike us in a garage with no fact checkers and and anything making fun of ourselves and the news, these people actually do know that people take them seriously and turn to them for news and they consider themselves journalists and will call themselves journalists until suddenly they're in trouble and then they'll say, oh, everyone knows that you don't you shouldn't take Tucker seriously or that Sean Hannity is a bloviated windbag that nobody believes. That's not true. And Dominion is actually pushing them to admit this. And they have a pretty strong case. I don't know how strong New York Times went through this when they got sued too. CNN got sued by a freaking Covington kid. Yeah. Like all of these networks are full of shit. They're all garbage. They're sometimes presenting news, but they're never presenting it without their own spin. They're never just giving you facts. It's always a mostly peaceful protest or uh, the election was stolen. Wink, wink. Yeah. It's all about money and ratings. Money and ratings. And there was that Tucker Carlson who is a ginormous piece of crap. Based on, I just love when everyone's text messages come out. I never text anything without thinking this is going to end up in some lawsuit someday. Right. <laughs> like, right. All of this will be public. Hey, your first lesson you should take from this is whatever you're texting might end up in a lawsuit or so, emailing yeah. or emailing. Yes. And these were these guys. Imagine that group chat with Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity and Laura Ingram. Oh, and they're all like, this is unbelievable. One of the the Fox people was tweeting a fact check and they were getting mad and trying to tell her to get fired, saying she should be fired and to get her for taking down the fact check. Yeah. I mean, so much is coming out in this and it's I don't know why anyone believes any of it. Yeah. Why would you believe these people? All they care about are ratings and their egos and their bank accounts and their money. And you're and you are like, oh, yeah, I trust Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity. (laughs) Come on, Susan. (laughs) (laughs) They're going to do whatever it takes to keep your attention. Yeah. All they care about are your eyeballs. They don't give a shit. If you're going to go storm the Capitol and end up on an FBI watch list and More get news arrested for them to report on, they don't Great. care. They don't care. They don't give a shit about your welfare. They don't care if you're going to go burn down a police precinct and end up in jail. No, they'll incite all of that shit. Take like plausible deniability and then act like, oh, it's just these dum dums who listen to us. How, imagine that. Mm. Imagine, imagine how insane of a position that is to take. We know we're dum dums and that our audience is dum dums. And our audience is smarter than we are. Right. We know this. And we do our best to just kind of make jokes about it. That's us putting our spin on it. But we do not ask you to take us seriously for one second. <laughs> and I'm not asking you to storm anything ever. <laughs> a precinct or the Capitol. And I'm not asking you 
I believe our elections work. Want to know why? Because if I don't believe that, if I don't believe that we have fair elections, what is the point of voting? So already democracy is already done if you don't believe that they are not fair elections. Been given the right to choose between a douche and a two. And for these pieces of shit, to plant that seed, knowing that they don't even believe that in the minds of millions of people who are just so desperate for their side to win and and so invested in this political persona that they've all developed over the past seven years because of a strong contamination that's in our water. I don't understand. (laughs) They are... The worst kinds of people, because you are going to take actions based on that, whether it's not voting, whether it's going out and doing something stupid, like yelling in the face of a a voting worker. Yeah, you're going to be your behavior will be determined by something they know they're selling you is a lie. And I'm not saying this is only Fox. We're just covering this example of it. And by the way, we've given the left tons of for this kind of stuff Mm -hmm. they 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 didn't believe the elections in georgia stacey abrams never fully conceded until recently but she was always very sketchy about it in the mainstream media in general there's an idea festering that our elections are not fair and actually considering all of this stuff they seem to be pretty oh like pretty legitimate pretty legitimate yeah and people can disagree with me or not. You can think there not, weren't even elections. You can think that, sure, mail-in ballots, sketchy. I'll give you that. There's room for shenanigans there. Not sure how I feel about it. Ballot harvesting, don't know how that's legal. Shouldn't be. But for the most part, I think the people are exerting their will, whether you want to believe that or not. Yeah. <sighs> it just makes me crazy. Because you know what makes me crazy is that these people are invested in making you crazy. Which I think is the most f***ed up thing you can do to someone. It's like when a boyfriend or a girlfriend gaslights you. Don't gaslight Gaslighting me. doesn't exist. You made it up because you're f***ing crazy. They're trying to make you crazy, knowing that they're, they're above this belief. Yeah, they're making you doubt reality. Yeah, they're making you doubt reality. And this is every institution right now, everywhere. Yeah. So I don't blame you for feeling nuts. But you're actually not nuts if you feel like... All of this is insane. You're you're pretty. There's more of you than you think. Yep. You are not alone. And that's and that's it. That's my rant. End of rant. <laughs> <laughs>